One of the most courageous leaders I've ever met is Ken Frazier. He's the CEO of Merck, but you know he started out as the grandson of a slave. Ken's father never had a position higher level than janitor, but he gave Ken great clarity. He said, Ken, you have to be your own person. Ken had a real test in the summer of 2017 when people invaded Charlottesville representing white supremacists, Ku Klux Klan, and neo-Nazis. This had to be an anathema to Ken, and he had to be shocked by that, but he was even more shocked by President Trump's declaration that there are good people on all sides and there's lots of blame to go around here rather than having clarity say, no, this is wrong. I think he never envisioned that everyone else would quit these councils, but 42 other CEOs followed him out the door. And it's easy to follow someone else out the door. Uh, but he did that and he set off a chain reaction, which I think has been one of the healthiest things we've ever had. So the business community had to stand up for itself and say, here's what we believe. I think employees get inspired by leaders who have a sense of purpose, a set of values, and they're willing to stand up and be counted.